mean, the story itself is sort of split into two sections because it's set during the time when Holmes was supposed to be dead after the Reichenbach Falls and uh, Watson thinks he's dead. So there's a framing device that brings the two of them together. So luckily I did get to work with the lovely Richard Earl. And you can see some of us messing around on video, probably about now. But largely, I'm separate from him because he's not aware that I'm alive. That's fair enough, isn't it? Yeah. I'm in Tibet a lot of the time. And, and it, it, was, it was genuinely quite very nice of you to come into the studio and record those scenes. But it was, quite, it was nice for those scenes to get the both of you in together. Even oh, though it's for only one or two scenes, they're very key. They're very key to the story. I had to work with Watson. Yeah. Don't keep me away from my Watson. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> so in terms of working with the rest of the cast, I think we've had a pretty good time, haven't we? We've had a very good time, yeah. Yeah, yeah but they're, they're all lovely people. Um, some new to the process, but I always try when I'm casting to, to um, mix things up a bit. It's, it's good to have people that have worked with Big Finish before, because for those that haven't, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a quick process compared to most recording processes or filming processes. I've worked with Big Finish before and it's always, I'm not just flattering you all, but I do enjoy it enormously. I love working with Big Finish because it's so expansive. Because you can be a Victorian villainess tromping through the Tibetan plains one day and you can be a soldier the next. I found um, working with the other actors um, today is going to be really, it's, it's very exciting and um, I mean, as being a Japanese actor, to get um, this kind of opportunity is quite rare. And especially with fantastic actors like here today to, to work with, it's, it's a really great lesson. And uh, yeah, so I'm having great fun here. I'm playing uh, a man called Esau Thorne, who is uh, or was an, uh, an academic who now wants the world to be organized in what he thinks is going to be the best platonic way, according to the principles of Plato. But the way he's going to go about it is by using force. Now that's a bit fascistic, so perhaps he's not such a, an idealistic gentleman as he ought to be. Yes, my character is called Doja, and he's a Tibetan monk, and uh, he expects uh, Sherlock Holmes to come to Tibet, and uh, there, they're having a great problem and um, they expect Sherlock Holmes to, um, to come and help and support um, them. I'm playing the character of Helena Eidelman. She's not what she seems. She's full of secrets and intrigues and yet she's completely covering up most of the time so that Holmes doesn't find out who she really is. So it's great fun to play and I'm enjoying it very much. Yes, well today I've been down and I've been in, in studio for the fourth and final of the recording um, days for the, for the new series. Um, and that's been fantastic. Um, great to meet um, some of the cast. Great to hear Nick back in action again as Holmes. And I'm hoping this is going to have a really interesting and kind of different flavour, different texture to the previous stories in the Sherlock Holmes range. Um, it's been great fun work. It, it's, been, it, it's been another wonderful four days working with a lovely bunch of people we're incredibly spoiled at big finish having the opportunity to work with so many great actors but just such genuinely lovely people mm. as well and i just it's such a lovely part to play and i'm so privileged to play it you know and i uh, can't wait to get back and do some more hopefully so uh, let's hope it's popular enough i have absolutely no idea when the judgment of sherlock holmes is going to be released. i do because i'm the executive producer and it's coming out in december 2014 the Judgment of Sherlock Holmes. The Judgment of Sherlock Holmes is going to be, re be released when we finish post-production. Which will be for December <laughs> 2014. <laughs>Well, I'm Nicholas Briggs, and I'm uh, playing Sherlock Holmes in The Judgment of Sherlock Holmes. I'm also the executive producer of Big Finish as well. Ken! Of all time and space. <laughs> I just... Do you have a towel? Um, Are you throwing it in? Yes. <laughs> Don't self-edit. Yeah. I've given up. Get on with the answer. Now, the way we write, the way we communicate is in much, much shorter thoughts. 
apart from the one I just um, gave you. Yeah, that was the longest thought I've heard in a long time. (laughs) (laughs) I'm very hot. I think the majority of this video... Um, It would have been nice to have something to drink other than water. Like moaning about the weather. We are English. I would like Paul Midcalf to have put the chocolate in the refrigerator as I asked. That's the man who owns the studio. But he refused to put the chocolate in the fridge, so we had melted chocolate. I think that's all, isn't it, Ken? Calm down. (laughs) Don't ever take him seriously. (laughs) What did I say, though? No, I'm sorry, you had it. If you didn't get it, that's it. Thank you.